And as you can see, it has automatic review answers. When you ask ChatGPT what is one of the first jobs that are going to be replaced by AI, it answers customer support. I just invested one hour of my time to create an automatic AI responder for the reviews in my app, which I'm going to show you. And later on, of course, we're going to talk about the broader aspect of AI customer support. So now we'll do a short demo with very simple to use ChatGPT app that you all know. Pretend to be a customer customer service representative that has an answer to anything, help with any issue or problem. After you resolve an issue for the client, try to sell another service persuasively, a $4.99 a month sports package. Absolutely. I'm here to help with anything you need. What can I assist you with today? Hi, I purchased that cable package uh, service. I don't know what it is. I tried to connect it to my TV, but I don't see the picture. It doesn't uh, really work. Can you help me with it? Of course. Let's get that sorted out. First, let's check a few things. Okay. One, connections. Okay. Make sure the cable box is connected properly to your TV. Two, input source. On your TV remote, find the input or source button connected. Wait, I actually, I, I tried a source thing and I clicked on it and now it works pretty good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that worked. Happy to help. Since you're all set now, how about enhancing your viewing experience even more? For just $4.99 a month, okay. our sports package offers access to premium sports channels, live events, and exclusive coverage. It's mm -hmm. perfect for any sports enthusiast. Would you like to add this to your subscription? Can I cancel any time? Yes, you can cancel at any time. Hmm with no hassle. So in this demo, you've seen how easy it is for the AI to make a simple switch from customer support to a marketing hat within the second and offer extra services. You've heard the pleasant voice, the charisma, it just all goes smoothly. This is just the end product, the mobile app of ChatGPT, but it has an API and every company can connect to it. And of course, there are already companies that are connected to it and started to replace the human factors, the human representatives and replace them with AIs. Of course, some of them doing it gradually to see if the satisfaction versus frustration ratio is higher than the human representatives. I used to go over review after review and try to respond. Of course, that became impossible because the app became so popular that I have tens of thousands of reviews by now. I barely managed to cover maybe 1% and I didn't give enough effort to do it as well. And partially I need to read the review and then respond and to try to eloquently use my not so mother language level English to do it. And GPT or of course beats me to it with no effort and it managed to do a marvelous job. Here we have our review page on our developer console. And as you can see, some of the reviews, this one in Turkish, for instance, they don't have any replies. So let's run the script and see what happens. And so now I can just activate the script and make it run periodically, maybe every one hour. GPT will do all the work for me. In the system prompt, I wrote, you are an official app review feedback system. And then I went ahead and wrote in the prompt, write a feedback to this review. If it's a four stars or more, write a creative and kind positive review in the same language, which is of course important because if the reviewer uh, writes a review in Russian, I want to respond in Russian accordingly and not in English. If it's a three stars or less and there is some sort of negativity, apologize and offer to contact at our contact email, which I provided to it. Make it short, no more than 300 letters because Google Play has a limitation of the length of the response of the developer. And then I provide the review stars and the ratings, of course, one to five, and I provide the actual textual review and I get a response from GPT-4. And as I said before, automatically post it as a reply. Then it continues on and on and on until it finishes the job. And as you can see, it has automatic review answers. You have a five stars here in English. Thank you for your wonderful five star reviews. We're thrilled to hear that our app is helping you with reminders. Your support means a lot to us and inspires us to keep on moving. Portuguese and you have a Portuguese answer. You have a one star review and answers with a support email and apologizes as I asked it to do and all the rest of the five stars, even in, in Thai language. It answers in Thai language, five stars, and it probably thanks it. Here's a Hebrew one, I don't recommend, and then it apologizes in Hebrew. In Arabic, good, it writes back in Arabic. Japanese, responds in Japanese. Multilingual, multitasking, a review assistant, 
done automatically in under one hour. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. I can run the script on the server side automatically, periodically. That's it. I have a virtual assistant review feedback and I work for it maybe one hour. My conscience is very clear because I don't have to fire anyone. I just save quite a bit of my time and made my work and customer support much more efficient. Plus, clients are getting the feeling the company cares and it replied for the review. And by doing this, your brand is actually becoming uh, more great. Slowly and surely, there are going to be less and less jobs in the customer service. Since AI doesn't need to go to the toilet, AI is not waking up on the morning with migrants or having a bad shitty day. And of course, humans have those kind of issues uh, because they're humans. They have feelings. Sometimes they don't like that the client is talking to them with specific tone and they cannot de-escalate the situation. Sometimes Sometimes they don't have the solution they need to access or ask someone else about a solution and AI can seamlessly do it within seconds and therefore it's much much uh, superior to humans it's going to be you know no time until those services will replace humans I didn't even mention yet the money aspect and financial aspect the maintenance of how much money it takes to have an human employee versus an AI employee of course it's thousands and thousands of times cheaper. There's no doubt it's going to take over rapidly, fast, and you know within the few years many countries will use it many companies will use it from small to big companies because it's so cheap available and high quality it's inevitably just going to happen it's all about the business i plan to produce many more videos about ai because it is a subject that is not minor it's not a side subject it's it has to do with all of us as humans as a culture every area we're touching or we're involved with ai is going to be there social business comedy, culture, it's going to touch everything and we're going to look at it from different perspectives, including, as usual, demonstrating all kinds of tweaks and things. It really shows you how it can be manifested practically. You're welcome to watch one of my previous clips or subscribe or do just both. It's also a possibility. Goodbye.